And we are back. Hello, I have acquired water. I will be drinking some. Ah, delicious. All right. So we're going to fly real quick. Yippee! It's a very yellow cloud. We're headed over here. <clears throat> Barracuda! Go away! Waha! You can't catch me, dork! Try me! I'm a speed wizard. So here's a geoglyph. It's not exactly the one that we were looking for, but it is the one that we're going to be using. Is that a, that's the Gliok. Ignore that guy, we will not be dealing with him. I don't think I'm strong enough to fight a Gliok. Was it supposed to be Ganon? Why is he all sweaty? Sweat demon. <laughs> all time I thought you were from Minnesota, the whole lack of an accent thing. Well, maybe. I'm from Ohio. God, I wish I would. I, <laughs> I hope I'm not from Ohio. Korok? Hey! Yeah. Yeah <laughs> Eat it. Now, where is the tear? <clears throat> I got a water, but I still have. It still. <gasps> still feels like I have something in my throat. Catch! How dare you dodge! Ah! Boogie! Get dodged! <laughs> Eat it! Stop that! Yeah! Nah! Yeah! Oh, you got it now! Get him! Whew! Okay, bye! I don't know where that snowball's going, but he's... He's got places to be, I guess. I love the way geoglyphs look. Like this weird ripply effect on the ground. I love it. Is that a dog? Dog! Love me! Ow! Oh my god, this dog's gonna kick my ass! Steel is prime meat. A fresh, high-quality piece of animal meat. This stuff isn't easy to come by, so savor it. Cook it to recover more hearts. Or eat it raw like a bar barbarian! Nice. Well, that's a fox. That's a moose. That's such a gnarly calyx, and I sound like a freaking ninja turtle. People in the mid never dig it. Oh my god. I've never been to California. Ah, skeletons! Sadness. I'll be honest, I don't even know what a California exit sounds like. Other than, like, Valley Girl. That's about, like, the closest I understand. Where's the tear? Or the pool or whatever. The dragon's tears. Oh, 
don't think I ever took a picture of these guys. Mike from Ninja Turtles. Really? Interesting. Nope. Delete it. It's bad. Try again. Give me that. Get in my album. That one's going in my cringe compilation. Probably take a picture of the cold foot wolf. Is that a golden horse? Hey, yo, screw what I was doing. I need that horse. Damn it, it's gonna be mine. The golden horse. What the? I wish I had Sheikah gear. Mega Mind will finally have a friend. Should we call this one Metro Man? Hello, ponies. Careful. Yeah! Oh, oh, fuck! My face! Get back here! I don't know what I expected. Where's my acorns? I need to consume nut. Thank you. I'm going to wait for the blood moon to pass. My little Ruther's ungulate ends upon the land. Nameless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Wouldn't that cause the horse to despawn? Not if he's right in front of me. Hey, pony. Yeah. Ow! You just smacked your own head on that. Ow! All right, listen here, you little shit. We are going to be friends. Okay. Yes! I did it! It's mine! Ah. Aren't you beautiful? That was close. <laughs> I had like two presses left and it would have thrown me off. I think you and Megamind will get along very well. And also this will make me... There it is! Shh, 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 shh. Don't go anywhere. Well, he got owned by a pony. <laughs> hey, horses in this game don't play. They're one of the few things that have like a patron deity. I'm to imbibe the memory water.
It is mine! Booming fart dot MP3. You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. Can I die? <laughs> I don't know guys, I think Ganondorf might be evil. Starting to get a hunch. But I'm not sure. Nice. And then <laughs> there's little ghost tooling running around. And get rid of that now. Okay. Come on, Metro Man. Let's go. We need to get you to a stable. Nah, you're crazy. I'm sure he's just misunderstood. I'm not surprised that they're going with the, the classic Ganon is, is bad, like tail. Like Ganondorf is bad, but I was kind of hoping 
that it would be like a Ganon is being controlled by Demise situation and that he actually is the king of the Gerudo that he was meant to be. What is that? Why is it spitting out? Was oh, that a fairy? Because he's hot? Sort of, maybe. He's kind of hot. Oh, someone's in trouble! I'm here to rescue you. I did it. Nice work, Benny. This is for saving me. Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> Steamed tomatoes. You a traveler? You seem to know how to handle yourself in a fight. Say, are you aware of the mystery of the geoglyphs that have sprung up all over the world after the unheaval? Ah. I'm an adventurer looking into these geoglyphs, even if I hadn't made much progress yet. Came here because I heard that people in the that people have seen a geoglyph in the area. Mm. But I've walked up and down these hills and not found any trace of it. And he's complaining though. Rest up a bit and pick up the search again soon. Maybe I'll see you again while I'm at it. Stay safe, traveler. I already found it. It's like right over there. I just launched a fart so bad it shocked my cat awake and made him cover his face. Oh my god. You hit the the fart the reverb fart dot mp3. It was you. Alright, I'm going to mark this for the heart. We'll come back to it. I don't want to do these things that might cause, uh, that might cause Metro Man to despawn, so. Chill. Chill, we're good. They can't catch you, you're too powerful. I love this horse. We'll mark here as a shrine. Oh, sick. This is actually a stable. Hey, this is the guy. It's my dude. Yeah. Hello. Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Oh. Welcome, welcome. You've reached Snowfield Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. This is your first time here. We'll add one point to your pony points. Sick. Now then, once again, Ooh. wait, Link, that horse, oh. isn't that the golden horse that ran away from our stable? Is it? I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for the trouble of for going through the trouble of bringing it back here. It's mine now. You're not taking this from me. But Harlow was the one looking after that horse, so would you mind bringing it back to her? She should be around back. Uh. She's been so worried ever since the poor thing ran away. Please go put her mind at ease. Oh. Anything else? This is my horse. Oh. You want a bored mega mind? Uh, I mean, yes. Oh. Oh. Wait, Link, that horse. Oh. Wait, can I? Uh. Oh. Fine, jeez. Time was. You looked at the sky in the day and you see the sun, sun and some clouds. And at night, the moon and stars. But nowadays, you look up and see floating islands and ships and all sorts of strange things. Oh. It's hard to look to the future with anything but anxiety right now. Details on this horse are awesome. Look at its muscles! I ship Mega Mind and the Golden Horse. This is going to be Metro Man. If they let me keep the horse, I am naming this Metro Man. So it's the obvious ship. Hello. Harlow. I was told you were around back, Harlow. Where are you? Are you Harlow? Oh. We don't get too many travelers out here. Thanks for coming out. I don't want you to be disappointed, but... So you should know that the musical troupe isn't here right now. Nah. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. They're a fine group of performers. 
They're one of the few things that would bring folks to the stable, in fact. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast to Woodland Stable in Elden. I miss the days when I could warm chilly visitors with a fire and a good show. Without that troop, even the great fairy that blesses travelers is hidden herself away. What if we don't have enough to offer? What a sorry end to the stable that would be. Great fairy. Yep, I found her over there. Might be hard to see in the snow. There's a great fairy over there in that flower bud halfway up the mountain. But just a few days after the upheaval, she went into that bud and hasn't come out. If only she could hear the musical troupe play again, I'm sure she'd show herself. Oh, but none of this is your problem. Please take this for hearing me out. Hey, spicy elixir. <laughs> Don't you think of leaving until you're prepared? This fire's here to warm you up. It's clearly fond of you. It, yeah, it is. Gold Horse loves me. Hey, Pin. I'm going to interrupt you real quick. Your story is really something. I don't remember what he sounded like, but this is what he sounds like now. Mind going through it again? Just to make sure I have all the details right? Oh. Well, actually, our beloved Mrs. Missing Princess Zelda showed up here at the stable. Blah. Our beloved Missing Princess Zelda showed up at the stable here the other day. It was strange. A sight of her really agitated the princess's golden horse, which we keep stabled here. Zelda's horse. Steed started acting wild like it was terrified for its life. That poor creature bolted and I haven't seen it since. So there is a fake Zelda running around. Wait, your horse has a golden coat just like hers. It can't be. It must be. That's the princess's golden horse, which has been missing for quite some time. I've been worried sick. And now here you've brought the horse back. Whoa, partner, I barely got my beak in the situation here, and you just roll in with the horse? Kind of throws me off the saddle here in the middle of an interview, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, the good, de good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, uh, it's just me or has that horse gotten kind of attached to you? We are literally glued together. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. What's strange is that when Princess Zelda appeared here, this gentle creature ran off in a frenzy, as if terrified. It's a different horse, it just happens to look like it. We spray-painted a horse. Double the Zelda, double the rejection, nice. But for some reason, the princess's horse really does seem to trust you. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I can't believe that horse ran away at the sight of Princess Zelda. Could it be that it wasn't the princess? I know her face anywhere, but it was snowing hard. Maybe I have it wrong. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. <laughs> and if your travels in, in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to re reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> if that's the case, partner, then how do you say no? How could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. Wait, I want you to have this too. A royal bridal. This bridal is well known for being a favorite of the Hyrulean royal family. Its gold ornamentations leave an impression, but its true value lies in its solid craftsmanship. Uh, also, please take this. Royal saddle. The shimmering emblem of the design of the shadow. Sa bleh, the shimmering emblem design of the saddle signifies its origins with the Hyrulean royal family. They say Princess Zelda herself once used this saddle for her own beloved horse. Ah. These are a bridle and a saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Also, take this with you. Ah, free stamina. Hell yeah, we can raise up Mega Mind and Metroman. Oh. I thought of using this energizing elixir if I had to help calm the horse after it bolted off. But I don't need that anymore, so I'll give it to you. You might still be a rookie, but you're every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such good results on your first time out. Why, well, I'm feeling a little proud myself. 
Here's a start to the old nest egg. Hey, 50 rupees. Sick. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. Right, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. So long. Bye, Pin. Well, that worked out. <laughs> You found the golden horse, and Harlow was beside herself when you returned the gentle creature to the stable. She asked you to take the horse, as it already seems attached to you. Finn flew off to write the whole story up for the newspaper. Dog. Dog. Huh? This is my horse now. Oh, that's Princess Zelda's golden horse. We're well acquainted already. Why didn't you say that earlier? You mean to register it, I presume? No, thanks. Yes. Oh. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. New horse. Oh my god, this horse is sick. Lincoln Mario must be the world's most active and accomplished incels. Well, you assume that they're involuntary. Oh. Got it. Need to register 20 rupees. Huh? Yep. Oh. At one point to your pony points. Nice, free reward. Huh? Well, I got some points saved up, Link. Get your reward over here at the side counter. Blah, 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 blah. Registration, enter a name. You. Metro Man! No, not Metro Man, like he's German or anything. Get that out of here. Yes. Oh. Uh, board it. I would assume yes. Oh. Oh. Well, one Mario's not even in a relationship with Peach anyway. Like, isn't he married to some other like Rosalina or whatever the fuck? The red dress lady. I don't know her name. What's the reward? Hi. Be right with you. Oh. Yes. Uh. The horse god fabric. For a paraglider. Oh. Here the dye shop in Atino Village has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nikluda, you ought to stop by. I'm sure they can help put this fabric to use. Save up to two oh. more points. Be able to use them along your bed. Sick. Pretty sure Mario is single. I thought he I thought he was married to the lady with the red dress. Whatever her name was, I don't remember. I don't remember. And then we know that some links. Some links have had babies. Pauline, is that her name? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played a Mario game since Super Mario 64. <laughs> the courage to fall. Can I get up there? Oh, come on, let me up there. Coward. <clears throat> courage to fall. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know dink about the Mario universe. Neither do I. <laughs> but I do know that some some links are direct descendants of other links. So Link does have the babies. He's Zelda's champion, not her boyfriend. Like, I think the hero of time got married to a fish. How do I get up there? Let me up. 
Ah, jeez. Dun did it in din did it. Mario Universe in a nutshell. Bowser does something true. Ah! Ow! Ah, ha! Camera! All right, this is getting on my nerves. Screw you! Ow! Die! That was ridiculous! Jeez. All that for five arrows. Sick. Dun 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 Stay back! Yeah! Yeah! Gotcha! Glad they aren't left with one strong arm. Well... He does have a super-powered right arm now. Make of that what you will. But then again, it's also someone else's arm. Make of that what you will. <laughs> I need a key. A key. Can I move this? No. Hmm. Wait a minute. A Mario Ma uh, Mass Effect crossover. You can date Luigi or Toad. Oh my God. Now that's scandalous. How do I get below? I saw the thing, it's below. Huh, we're entering the yawny part of my day. Despite not being tired. I ascend. I don't think anyone wants to date that little mushroom head. Mushroom head! Over here, nothing sick. Twenty squats wake me up. It's not a tired thing. We've been over this. Easy while gaming. I wish I had a standing desk here at least. I have one at home, but I don't have one here. There's gotta be a way in. There gotta be a way in. Or is there? Huh? What happens if I walk in this? Huh? Hey, okay. Apparently failure is the solution. I didn't know that would do that. 
Give me the key. Give it to me. Thank you. It's called the courage to fall. Well, yeah, I fell, but who's this? How am I supposed to know what these lasers even do? Who's to say they don't make you explode? I don't know. Let's go, ball. Failure is the solution. That's the American way, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Give me the airplane. Sick. No, not that one. Grab it. Put the bowl on. And now we go. Yeah. Okay, move it a little bit more forward. Yeah, yeah. Go! That's enough of that. Oof! Get out of get it! Get over there! Yeah! I said yeah! Oh my god, get in the hole! The hole is your home! Are you too good for your home? There. Finally, give me my blessing. Ball really said no. What a rude dude. Time flies. Ah, right, cool. Suppose I can get rid of the stamp. Put a stamp below me, though. Um, I'm going to investigate the well Then we're gonna get on the horse And head for the geoglyph in the southern region of Hebra Hmm Well, you see Well, you see. Oh my god. Here we go. What's going on down here? Oh my god, fairies. It's an interesting well. Well, well, well. Ooh. Can I get a third? Come here, lizard! Hmm, sticky white lizard. It has really almost been 40 minutes <laughs> since I can't, since the break. Does not feel like it took that long. Oops. That was a golden ore and it gave me flint and amber. Sick. Come here, you dumb fish. You can't walk on land. Idiot. Or does assume 20 minutes, right? There's a reason why we doubled the the length of of recording parts. Oh yes, an axe. Across the old dirt hole has good has goodies, yep. Uh 
That damp, crusty hole in the ground. Spicy! Those are horses? I thought that was a giant crab. I need glasses. <laughs> oh. Customize my horse. Take oh. Metro Man. Oh, Metro Man is so much stronger. Thanks for waiting. Changing his gear. Um. Give it a royal saddle. Oh. Oh. Hmm. And give it a royal bridle. There you go. Uh. Oh. All that snow, yuck. Oh. I hate oh. snow. It's cold and sticky oh. and gets everywhere. Hmm. Stop talking to me! Let's go, Metro Man! I almost said Mega Mind, but you're not Mega Mind. We're headed south to find the other geoglyph. And then I guess we're figuring out what mission we wanted. That is a tiny tree. That is a huge moose! Oh my god. That's right, you better be afraid of me. Oh, hey, Addison. Ice and snow. What you got against ice and snow? That's not what I wanted. You know it, game. Birds. Yes, that's true. It is kind of painful. There, release the sign. This is how physics work. Six three falling is far down. Eesh. Just a couple inches. No! <laughs> All right, fine, jeez. Let's see. He is right. That's not where I want to fuse it. Dumb game. Maybe if I turn it like this. Flip it over. Flip it and reverse it. That there. Right. I've got this. Let me cook. One more. We need one more thing. One more thing, Jackie. Yes, flawless. That's exactly what I wanted.
Nice. <laughs> hmm. You don't see anything. I'm putting way too much work into this. There. Problem solved, <laughs> eventually. Let it go, let it go. Close ah. enough. What? <laughs> Excuse you. Do you know how much work I put into that? I'll do this then. There, how about this big old sandwich? Is that good enough for you? Stop being scared. Talk to me, Addison. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Let it go. There you go. Sheesh. Can he see so sing something from Les Miserables? Well, seeing as I've never seen it. No. <laughs> Give me all of the things that you're going to give me. It's going to be a rupee, a food, and uh, some uh, underground item. Oh, he gave me a sleepover ticket. That's not from the underground at all. Bummer, yeah. I don't watch movies, so... You know. Alright, Metro Man! We ride! Let him go on his own. Metro Man knows the way. He's a superhero. A super horse bro. There's a fire over here. I wonder if someone might be living at the top of this hill. Get out of my way, Bambi! Broadway, like cats, but not hilarious like cats. Oh, I'm, I'm, hold up. I'm well acquainted with, with what it is. My mother is a theater kid, so I know what it is. I've just never seen it. What's this? Hello. Oh, wait, it's a Rito. I'm stuck. Oh. You there? You here because you noticed my signal fire? It's about time someone did. So you got spotted by some monsters. Hey, there's the geoglyph, by the way. Uh. They want to snatch the supplies I collected from Snowfield's table. Those pests. Normally I'd have dealt with them, no problem. Uh. But against the swarm, there wasn't much I could do but set a signal fire and wait for help to arrive. Sadly, unless you have a pair of wings, I'm not seeing. Doubt you can reach the monsters up there. Mm. Just have to hang tight and wait for my friends to notice I'm gone. Hmm. Hmm. Wing, you say? All right. Time to do some terrible science. This never works. I'm going to do it again. Two. We want another two. Those are upside down. I need to flip them. One up front. 
One up front. This is upside down. Stop being scared of my witch magic. Oh. Pathetic baby warrior bird. Scared of a little witch magic. Yeah. No, no, go back. Wait, go back. Yes, like so. No, too far back. Hut. Uh. My plane. Where'd it go? Where did it go? <gasps> You're there! Oh man, got me worried. I thought you were hurt, my darling. All right. Try this again. Careful. Where'd my plane go? Hey you, did you see something fall out of the sky? Pondo? <laughs> oh, pardon. The cold snap might be over, but it's still so chilly down here. Hold on, kiddums. If you're heading north the Eber Mountains, you've got a steep trek ahead. <laughs> so go for a stable to read a village so you're nice and prepared. Thanks, Santa. Didn't happen to see an airplane, did you? <laughs> Where'd you go? I miss you so. Feels like it's been forever since we took off. I don't know, dude. I don't think I can help you here. Ah! Well, maybe. More wood. You ever order pizzas like that? <laughs> Thinking I order pizza. This is kind of like wings. Where are they? There they are. Yeah. Excuse me. What? Hi. No, I don't buy things. God, I need to aim so high for these guys. Where's the last one? You see him, spooky ghost toolin? There he is. Ah, I'm on fire! Hey, what up? What the? You don't even have wings. I don't remember what his voice was. How'd you fight the monsters so high Ooh. up? Yeah, who cares? What matters is you did it. Great work. I can get these supplies from Snowfield Stable back to my village. 
Please let me give you something for my effort, for your efforts. Oh. It's less than you deserve, but it's also all I have. Nice. Oh. Now I better deliver these supplies before more monsters show up. Take care. Bye, Hook. The High Lord Aliulo. Too good for our mortal cheese breads. Why would I ever call a pizza place for pizza when I could order? Obviously, the chicken parmesan f sandwich. Huh. Fuck, that sounds good. Why didn't I bring my wallet with me? Damn it, I could have ordered one. And brought it down here. Ah. Now I'm hungry, thank you. You can find you some ambrosia. Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, Metro Man, be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Don't turn that dial. I can get rid of the thing. Wow. Thinking about the chicken parmesan sandwich has made me incredibly hungry. By God. Where oh where is the dragon's tear? Where oh where could it be? They want to see another memory. To learn more about... Uh, this this game I couldn't figure out the rhyme. I want to know the lore. I love Zelda. <laughs> Aha! I'm thinking about Philly cheesesteak. If it didn't have green peppers in it, I'd be down. But I hate green peppers because I've baby tongue. Drink water. As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> now, Zelda dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. <clears throat> I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru? 
you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Wait, Rauru has a sister? Oh my god! Also, Sonya hit him hard. <laughs> Got a place down the street that makes all kinds. Peppers are not mandatory. Well, where I am, a Philly cheesesteak has green peppers in it by, by necessity. So, you know. Kind of stuck with him. Where'd Metro Man go? Ah, there he is. Let's go! This is just unholy, right? Green peppers are gross! I do like me some roasted... Some roast beef sandwich though. Some roast beef and like and like melted Swiss. My favorite sandwich though. My favorite sandwich and one that you won't find in stores and or like uh, at restaurants normally is a sandwich called a Reuben. Dear God, the Reuben is good. Is it like rye bread with corned beef and Swiss cheese? Let's slow down and see what this person's about. Grilled? They seem to have uh, friends living outside their house. Are you gonna say Reuben? So Midwest, I am! And I'm right! Choo choo jelly on a on a shield. They are good, true. I also discovered because I hate sauerkraut, so I don't put sauerkraut or anything on it. You can substitute peanut butter, and it is also fantastic. Somebody there, Jogo. Isn't that like the name of a bad guy from Jujutsu Kaisen? Maybe someone's come to help. What are you saying? Why would anyone help us? This place is crying with monsters! Huh? Monsters? I can't hear them anymore! Uh -huh. Come on, Joe, what's taking you so long? Quick, you gotta unlock the door! <laughs> okay! What up? <gasps> you defeated the monsters! We took a break here in this vacant house to get away from the cold. Before we knew it, monsters had us surrounded. You should be there to thank him. Nice and proper like. Oh. I still can't believe you came to help us. You really did save us, you know. Ever since the upheaval, there have been more and more monsters. We are trying to be careful, but... Ah. I don't know how to thank you enough, but please take this. Spicy elixir sick. Oh, but I didn't feel like it sinks enough. Not for someone who saved our lives. Yeah, I got an idea, mister. You know about shield surfing? Yes. Of course you are. You hauled yourself to a place covered in snow. So you gotta know a thing or two about shield surfing. And you just remember, if you get shield position, all you gotta do is jump on and ride. But of course, there's no surfing if you don't get to some momentum going. It's kind of tricky like that, eh? Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. You like that shield over yonder? Go right ahead and use it. We brought probably of our own. <laughs> and I look it, but I used to be a professional shield surfer, you know. But I remember that there's this legendary surfer somewhere in the Hebrew Mountains. So I came here looking for him. Mm. Oh, well, I didn't know their exact location. Where's yet? I took a break here and ended up surrounded by monsters. Why are you the one that gets all the lines? <laughs> hey, but if you need to know some, anything about shield surfing, at least I can help with that. Anything you don't understand about it, just go ahead and ask me. 
I am never talking to you again. Ah, my throat. Ah. Ow. I just go light kraut with extra jus for dipping. I just hate sauerkraut. I hate sauerkraut. That's all I'm really trying to say here. I will eat whole fish. Consume fish. Oh man, no hidden Korok. Let's go, Metro Man! There's someone else on a horse. Oh wait, it's, 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 it's Pondo. Rosa. Monsters? No way. Oh my god. Ah! Nice. You do some good voices, man. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I'm not climbing the ice. Hmm. Give me this. I'm still not climbing the ice. You cannot make me. I am no fool. I know it's slippery. I'm here for the bubble frog, bubble frog. That's you, bubble frog. You didn't understand. Ooh, bomb flower. Oh god, it's monkeys! Ignore the monkeys, we gotta get the frog. Come here, frog! I just wanna talk. How about murder! Yeah, up, up. One second. This is awkward. Get pounded! Thank you. Oh! Oh God, monkeys! Ah! Eh. Eh. Narrating pastas. If you do a ring of people, you probably smash it. Well, that's kind of what SCPs are like. There's one that I really like that I've wanted to read for a few years, but I'm, I've always been worried I wouldn't do it justice. But I'm considering it again now that gaming's the main content. I don't have to worry about specifically putting out backrooms and SCP stuff. It's like maybe I can finally read No End House. A blue horriblin horn, a hammer shaped horn with spiky bumps. Sick. Yeah! Wait, why am I using the Lizal blades? Keep that, those things are good! Love to hear you narrating. I'd love to, honestly. Ding, ding, ding! I'm gonna make my channel a place where it can feel like it's 2013 again. I'm playing video games and reading creepypastas. Hell yeah. Only thing I could do better is if I split all my video, like all my gaming content into 15 minute segments. Then I'd give you the real authentic experience. Soldier's Claymore Spear. That looks sick. I need to get rid of this anyway. Do it, so say with your biggest idiot fan. I am not splitting my, my gameplay up into 15-minute segments. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. 
In 2023? <sighs> Let me out. Let me out. I can get through there. Ooh. I don't want a baby spear. Get out of here. Why did I waste all my fire fruit? I really need to figure out where to find more of those because I am almost out of fire gear. <laughs> All right. Cave solved. Got a bubble gym. I know the stable in Elden wants them, but I don't know for what yet, but I'm still collecting them because I like exploring the, the little caves. It's like little mini dungeons. God, it's bright. I do feel like I made this game clearer to see with the color filter that I put over. Because it doesn't feel as... It doesn't feel as piss colored anymore. What is this? Oh, this is the chef. The chef has to be here. No, this is someone else. Nat's Mushroom Quest. My sister Megan and I came all the way out to Hebrew on in our quest for mushrooms. Thanks to the evil. All sorts of new caves swarming around here, and they're just full of good stuff. But my sister and I aren't after bright bloom seeds and ore deposits. No, we're after that precious mushroom that only grows in caves. And you can bet we're going to find a ton of them. Nice light bloom on, bloom on objects. This game looks fantastic. All I did was... I did a little bit of color correction. This is, it's very minor color correction, but a little bit to make it less green. This is what it looks like base. See, it's a little green. A little piss filtered. And it still looks good. Don't get me wrong. But you do this th uh, with the filter on, things are a little bit clearer. I got tired of, um, staring. Oh, hey, there they are. I didn't, I didn't see you at all. Uh, Nat, please. Just can't do this. At least not with this cave. There are lots of other caves opened by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know. And I'm always, I was already itching to go home. Ah. Come on, little sis. You can do it. I mean, we traveled all this way. We need to at least gather those bright caps inside. That's what we came for. You can only find them in caves. We made it here safe and sound. Can't bear to leave until I have ten of them. Let's go in. Please, we got to. Uh... And go by yourself, Nat. Uh... Wait, what? No, we need to go together. What? Oh, that aroma. That soft light. Could it be you have some bright caps? I really, really want bright caps, and ten of them would do the trick. Would you maybe give them to me? Do I have ten? Ah. Thank you. I don't expect them for nothing, so here, I'll trade you this. Ooh, some spicy mushroom stew. <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. But I have to say, it's amazing that you've collected so many bright caps. I mean, they're only found in caves like this. Yes, it is amazing. Oh, you love a good cave, don't you? <laughs> Please don't say it like that. And so do I. They can hold all sorts of wonderful things. Alluring things. Valuable things. Like the gems from ore deposits, bright bloom seeds that illuminate dark places, and bright caps, of course. So you know, if you had enough of these bright caps, then maybe you could try. You know. Uh, Nat, you're not thinking about that, are you? And him? Ah. I never, not that. Unless, you know, maybe. Uh. Right, we agree, I think. Eh, sorry, forget you heard anything about that. Sister, see, crit. Uh. But, 
we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to tell him. Uh, Whoa, now does this guy caught your eye or what? Uh, Don't be ridiculous. It was just a thanks for the bright caps. Uh, but I will say, we're scouring high and low for something here in the Hebra region. We searched most of the south, so now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Well, see ya. Let's out out, Megan. Head out even. <laughs> <laughs> See you around. Greasy. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Time to go get the, uh... The mushrooms that they were talking about. <gasps> Sticky lizards! Hmm. Come here. Imagine climbing to have to pick mushrooms. Can I grab the lizard? No. I can kill the lizard. Die! Hmm, sticky lizard. Thought I heard a monkey. I missed. Gotcha. Your time is now. <laughs> Wind spear, baby. Get bullied. Also, oh, give me my arrow back that I kept pushing down. <gasps> give me a looker. Or set you on fire. Excuse me, give me, uh, spit that bag out. I have perforated his ball sack. Give me your things. God damn it, Tulin, stop it! Live in hippie land, they will climb anything for mushrooms. Don't underestimate a good shroom. Favored by hunters for its rabbit design, which is said to bring luck on hunts. It's easy to use, but its durability leaves a love stuff to be designed. Where'd the like-like stone go? Where is it? <laughs> ah! Oh no, did it get pushed into the floor? Oh man. People where I'm from prefer weed. I guess fentanyl, but that's like a thing. Don't hear much about people doing shrooms around here. Is that a Yiga shrine? Ah! They're fine, jeez. Die! That looks terrifying. Tulin, why did you give me this weird ghost? Frostbite shirt. Made for ancient rituals, this item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. Wait, that's actually good because I'm in a low temperature environment. Oh my god! Link, put those away! Whew! Good thing it's produces cold. Could be adjacent cannabis all day and a very rare chip piece and loving video games. Hell yeah. Drugs aren't my thing, but I I don't really care if other people partake. As long as it's not something that's going to hurt someone else. Or to a self-destructive extent, but that's in general for anything. Hey there, Bubble. Well, that's the same with any addiction, and that's not, you can't, drugs aren't the only thing that people can get addicted to.
So. Really, one luminous stone? One shiny rock? Way too many zombies these days. It's crazy here in Cali. Hmm. I don't get out much, so I don't know about how many people are actually dead here in... Or, oh, hey, there's a like like stone. Hmm. What are these for again? No, stop putting up stamps. What are these? Oh, these are just for elixirs. Or intended for elixirs. I need to take a drink. I haven't taken one in a bit. So far, this has been a good se a good recording session of uh, progress, story-wise. Yep. Well, I did get the two the two dragons tears and a couple caves, and I guess I did a couple quests, and I got a horse. So I've actually done things. This wasn't a dead episode. This way. You've stomped it, yeah. Just thinking, I should head down to the south bit of the Tabantha frontier and get the, um, the thing there. If here's the lucky clover. Let's go this way, Metro Man. We're heading south. Keep an eye out for any shrines on the way. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a... It's an Octorok. I thought the game was breaking down because this my capture card. Oh, hey, Addison, my capture card has been going for a while. So it's like maybe my capture card is breaking. You have my support. Am I going to have to actually cut down some wood? To solve this problem for you. Well, before I do that, I'm going to get this Korok. Come here, buddy. Come here. How far can you go? Still going. But he's going to wind up over there. Yep, there he is. Over here. Nope, over here. Hmm. Now he's up there. There we go. Give me that. Yeah. Give me your shiny poop. All right. Now I need to cut down some trees. Chop. Chop. A chopper. A chopper. Frog. Frog. No. Why? <laughs> he was innocent. Holy shit, these trees are long. All right, let's see what we can do about this. Unstick! Thank you. All right. Now we put that like right there. 
I need another. Another! Shatters glass. Hey, corn, come here! Fine, you can blow the wind. Jeez. Ghost Tulin's like, is it blowing time? I need another. Or I suppose I could do this. And now we get another. Come here! Come here! See if that works. Let go, Addison. Let go. Just let go. Just let go. No! I need another. <gasps> President Hudson, I'll support you. I suppose I should have re I should have uh Expected it to, you know, fall off to the side like that. All right, like that. Get a get another piece. Frog. Ah, you can be free. What the? All right, that kind of works, I guess. <laughs> ah. Try it again. Mm -hmm. Hey, I did it. Uh. That's brilliant. Wow. Uh. Now give me all your things, Addison. Uh. Give me your money. 20 rupees, uh, going to be a anti-cold, yep, spicy balls. And a puff shroom. Sick. Alright, now. Resign yourself to your fate. Yeah. Let's get out of here, Metro Man. No one must know of our crimes. What does Ali Ulo mean? Well, my name is Alan. So, Alan Ulo. Ali Ulo. What the? Alright, Metro Man. I have an ancient evil to kill. I can hit it in the face! Like that. No, the frog! What the? Ah! It also doubles as a... as an Esperanto thing. I used to be... I used to be really into Esperanto back in the day. The bantha wheat? Ah, oh, sick. What the... Help! Oh no, you better not throw that rib! Spare ribs! <laughs> I 
Catch me! No, come back here! <laughs> Language you're all supposed to speak, but no one does crazy. I know, right? And now here I am making my own language that no one speaks. Go catch! Fetch it! <laughs> Die. Uh. Huh? Oh no. He's immune. I have to hit the eye to kill him. No! I've played myself! Uh. Die! Please? You don't mind? Where are you going? Oh lord, look at him roll! I need my climbing gear. I'm gonna get ya! So this is awkward. <laughs> you better not try and come down here. Or throw anything at me. You don't want to try that. I warned you. That did basically nothing. Where's your ribs now, Stolnox? Is that a rock? That's a barrel! Ah! Eat it! Yeah! You can't block! That's against the rules! It's against the rules! It's against the rules! I'm out! <laughs> yes! Get owned. What the? An ox tooth. Stall knock 20! <gasps> 29 fuse attack power. I had a teacher who learned fluent Esperanto because in the 70s they became a f convinced that it would become the world's lingua franca. They're so bitter no one else could speak it. It is very funny. What's that shiny sound? I hear something like shimmering, do you? Hmm. Weird. But I was really into Esperanto. I'd listen to Esperanto music. I was constantly rehearsing the 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 lessons. I went the wrong way. Actually, I want to go see what that cherry tree is about. And I still adopt a lot of the... like, ethos and, like, uh, design decisions of Esperanto when I work on my own languages. Mostly because they just make sense to me. And I like them. And also, there are real languages that do stuff, like the determinative, determinative stuff. Like with chi, uh, the key, like, like the this and that words. Real languages do that kind of stuff. Where like the first part of the word is like the like marks 
kind of the sense and the second the second word marks the type like for example that the the part at the beginning is a is like a distant and the t at the end marks it as a object you can also see the same in what where the what at the beginning is the the questioning bit and the ta at the end is like is a I is an object. What is this? What beautiful scenery. Savota. Savota. Mm. Oh, you are quite the handsome Vo, aren't you? Voe? To meet in such a romantic place. Could you be the Voe I was destined to fall in love with? Oh no, I can just tell just from the look on your face. You did not come here in search for your one true love. That's too bad. The snow isn't as bad here as it has been lately, but... Ugh, I'm still so cold. Still, in a place as magical as this, I really do believe I will finally meet the handsome Voe of my dreams. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently, there is a strange creature called a Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've never seen it myself, but I really want to. I also heard that a Satori likes fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? Well, the problem is you're on the wrong mountain. Mount Satori is like way over that way. Well, I guess I could offer an apple. How'd you get into it? It's not common knowledge since the early 80s. More people speak Elvish. I've always really been into conlangs. Oh, wait. Satori! <gasps> what the? Ah. What the? Are those on my map? But I've been into conlangs for a long time, so... I just kind of... You know... Fell into it while researching. What are these? I was going to move on and do the, the thing, but taking the fruit. Endura carrot. Highly valued as a medicinal plant, this carrot carries large amounts of nursing nourishing energy. Yeah, when I was like 12 or 13 or so, I made up a language and I started looking up other people's made up languages and that's how it worked. Is there anything more relaxing than watching cherry blossom trees? It really puts me at ease. I haven't seen a Satori anywhere, but these beautiful trees have made the trip worth it all the same. It was just there! Oh. I heard that a strange fruit-loving creature called a Satori can be found near cherry blossom trees. Apparently, it's very rare to catch sight of the creature, though. Wonder if I could do anything to coax it out of hiding. That reminds me, though. I thought I heard some kind of animal cry earlier. Maybe it was just my imagination? I'm not sure now. Did you not look five inches to the left? But Esperanto is also easy to learn, so that's why it made it was my first choice. We'll come back to check all that stuff out later. I need to. I really want to go. Just, oh, you could do it. Coward. I really want to go see the geoglyph. Go back at that, but I don't have a mind for language. Learned a good bit of drow, but I can't hold this stuff. Neither can I. I have no no ability to retain anything. I just really enjoy it. Mm. 
that weird SCP like gibberish video I released uh, a few months ago was actually in the my most recent language and probably the language I've done the best on it's probably my best work it's in a weird like um like in universe kind of like stilted formal version like hyper formal it was so cool bro it was very fun trying to watching people try to figure out what language it was people uh settled on turkish <laughs> I'd love to work on it more, though. Beep, beep. Get out of my way. Wait. I need... Ah! Ah! The fire fruit now! Not out of left field, the ambiance. I've considered doing goofy like projects in that language like translating more scps there was ow there was one idea i had that was like purely like a wouldn't that be funny was like what if i started and didn't tell anyone what if i started a like let's play channel like an old style let's play channel and have all of the the entire channel be in that language descriptions titles the dialogue everything and don't tell anyone i ended up not doing it but i thought that'd be very funny wait there are way more of these things than i thought That'd be sick. <laughs> I think it'd be very funny. It would confuse people at the very least. That guy spawned way more of these markers than I expected. What are they? After we find the geoglyph, we're going to, going to start investigating them. Very into pointless mystery. Nice. A fan of Petscop, I assume. Yeehaw! I think this is where that guy fell in a hole. All right, so where's the geoglyph around here? Hey there, mushroom person. You're an actual person, not a Yiga. Hi. Mayro. Hey there. You wouldn't happen to also be after Misku's treasure, would you? Uh. I walked up and down the roads in this area, and I haven't found any caves at all that might hold Misku's treasure. Maybe I need to look further off the beaten path? It'll be tough in this outfit. Finding Misku's treasure or sullying this one-of-a-kind outfit. Life has presented me with quite the dilemma. Go away, dog. Well, you have fun looking for that treasure, buddy. I'm looking for other things. Rick, rule these fools, man. Hmm. See, the problem is effort. <laughs> Effort, uh... Why spend hours translating when I could go to sleep? 
Why are there so many people looking for Misko's treasure? Hi. Hello there. I hope your travelers are treating you well. So, I take it, if you struck up conversation with a fashion-forward type like me, all the way out here, you must also be searching for pieces of Misko's treasure. Treasure? Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko, but thievery isn't what made them a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It's said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> May only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find it. Oh. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where the pieces of Misko's treasure are said to be hidden? Sure. That they might strike your fashionable fancy. Now, do you have a map? Yeah. Mm. And here's what I've heard. Piece of a fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection, said to fill the wearer with power, is around here. Piece from a very snappy outfit from Misko's collection, said to keep you safe in lightning, is around here. All this information comes from my other fashion-forward friends who travel in other regions. I'm not sure if any of these looks will fit with my personal sense of style, but you never know. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure such styles could come in handy. Ah. That reminds me, do you know about great fairies? Uh, Metal Gear. Ah. The great fairies have existed long throughout Hyrule, and have been known to bless clothing. But since so much ugliness came to our land, I've heard that they've withdrawn from view. Though I think one of them was spotted near Woodland Stable in Elden recently. I wonder what that's about. Oh. oh, sorry. I've gone on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. Time for me to get back to searching for Misko's legendary outfits. Good luck! And goodbye. I definitely want you to get a million hits a day. Oh my god, that sounds... <laughs> <laughs> I'm satisfied with the million views I've gotten over six years. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Geoglyph! That's a talus. Hey, buddy! Bum 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 Blue Moblin. Oh. A large curved arm with two the horn with two extremely hard tips. No, he wasn't nearly as scary as I thought he was going to be. I'm your channel hard over the years. One of these days my friends and a t avalanche of attention is coming. I've had a couple. Yeah, I did. Like, I'll have bursts every so often. Like, I got to 5,000 somehow. Yeah, it's like a... Just do your thing. Just keep doing the thing. And eventually things... And eventually it'll work out. Hopefully. Not always. Not guaranteed. The geoglyph was down here. Where is it? But if you're sharing my channel around, I do appreciate that. I really do. What the? Birdman! Wait, this is easy.
I'm just glad I'm here before you he, <laughs> too big to notice one of these days I'm sure If I actually made videos and didn't just keep going to bed, I probably would actually be decently sized. Oh, come on. That could fit. It totally fits. What do you mean, dude? Even if I come in from the other angle? Oh, man. Kurt, you failed me again. Surely this will work. I need to flip this around. Like... So? Here we go, the, the lever is ready. Yeah, I'm just here to hang out and have fun. Maybe introduce people to things that they enjoy. Yeah, that kind of works. Nice. Perfect. Give me your rupee. Give me the food. Is it going to be a cold food? It's a cold food. Give me your spicy balls. And a sleepover ticket. If I ever crawl out of my depression hole and start doing music publicly again, you're getting name dropped. Sorry, just going to happen. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tugs on collar. Eee. I do appreciate that. Where's the geoglyph? It should be like right here. Oh, hey. Ha! Give me your stinking gold pooper. Pooper. One of the glowing things from the Satori is down there. Hmm. Well, come here, Metro Man. I do hope you get out of the depression hole soon, though. I've been there. It's not fun. It's kind of the d d the definition. You're supposed to follow the path, horse! Like that. There you go. Should be a... Metro Man! There should be a shrine near here. Get out of my way, Mishi! Oh my god, Beetle, no! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, is that a rugged rhino beetle I spy in your inventory? I love rugged rhino beetles. Will you give it to me? I wouldn't ask it for it as a gift. Oh no, how about trading it for a tough elixir? Sure. <laughs> oh, thank you. I knew you looked like a stand-up fellow. Now excuse me while I spend the day spoiling this darling beetle. So... Can I tempt you to buy? What do you have? I need these. Wow! Wow! Yeah, 
Give me all of your arrows. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Beetle. You want some of my rocks? Wow! 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 Doing business with Owen Wilson over here. Wow! Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow! He's. <laughs> I love that, uh, that line. All right, let me go. Now, where, where is the shrine here? There should be one uh, just right here. A pine cone. Nice. I need to reach my friend. Can only trade rocks for goods. Dude's just stoked. Man loves rocks. My friend and I got separated. Ugh. I had to send up a smoke signal. Can't wait to catch up. So tired though, I can't move. Can't move! Well, if you give me one moment and I can find this shrine, we can take care of that problem for you. Hylian tomato, a fruit, fruit, a fruit found, very few, 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 found widely from cold areas to warm climates. Hmm, tomato. I do not like raw tomato. I like tomato sauce, I like tomato soup, but I do not like just plain sliced or raw tomato. Please do not eat a tomato like an apple. The thought just crossed my mind. Wait, I've already found the shrine? Huh? Oh, I've already done this one. Well, in that case, good friend. Let's get you to your, let's get you to your buddy. Hello, Dobby. Oh. Customize my horse. Not many horses nearby, now you've registered. Oh. I should have read that, but whatever. Come here, Metro Man. I have a task for you. Customize horse. Mm. I can't restyle his ma wait, restyle your horse's mane. Mm. What the knowing harness. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh wait, hey, it's pen. Now we'll talk to you in a second. I keep getting distracted. This is ADHD, the video game. All right, come here, buddy. There. Get in position. Want to go hang in? Hang gliding while we blast the Zelda theme song. Where I'll <laughs> wear ill fitting green tights. We can buy Tingle cosplay. There. Just as Koroks and <laughs> deserve. No! He got dismounted by a pine cone. Why are there so many pine cones anyway? Uh oh. All right, we're good. There. All right, avoid the pine cones. Why are they all in the middle of the road? Who knows? But don't hit them. Drift? Nyaum! <laughs> Let's go, little fella! Hanya! Man, you Koroks! 
sure are good at drifting. Anya! Hey, I brought your friend. All right. There you go. Oh, yeah. Give me two poops. I've never been hang gliding. Is it fun? Hmm. Oh my god. Addison, you crazy nerd. Set it up. Put another side on. Not exactly what I wanted. Here, yeah, that'll be a bit easier. Like so. Alright, flipper. Flipper. It's 222. Do you know where your princess is? It's two in the morning. It's two in the morning, Link. Time for your daily <laughs> crashing session. Yes, Zelda. This box is far too powerful. <laughs> Surely I, I can, you can fit. Weakness. Fine, let go. Just let go. Unforgivable! Jeez. Imagine a fat, abusive Z Zelda with an East European accent. Oh my god. Come here, Link. It is time for... I, I cannot do a East European accent. But it is time for thigh-crushing... Power! There. Sandwich. The ultimate's form. Alright, give me all your money. Rupee. Hmm. <laughs> Energizing balls. And a bomb. Ah, of course. Oh. Alright, see you later, uh, Addison. I'm gonna turn around and head with them. Oh, it's an enemy base. I was like, is that another sign up there? Oh my god, Addison! But, um. I'm gonna go back to the stable. Real quick, and then we're going to take another quick break. Because we are past the two hour mark. Huh. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I ain't falling for that. Huh. I feel like this doesn't make him go any faster. Like, I feel like the yeah doesn't make him go any faster. Weird. Uh, 
All right. Harness off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Change the equipment. Royal saddle. Oh. Mm. All right. Cool. I should have read it. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. Break time. Been two hours. Time to get up, walk around, take a drink. Go to the bathroom. All that good stuff. If you're watching this in the future, I'll see you tomorrow. But otherwise, the stream will be continuing shortly. We'll be right back.